Hey all, I know I promised a video for using Adobe fonts. So I wanted to do a quick walkthrough for everybody. Um, fonts.adobe.com is where you want to go. And um, I have, in my experience, especially in the last few years, um, have seen a lot of my clients as they rebrand, switch over to using Adobe fonts. And what's nice about them is you don't have to download and install anything um, as long as you have an Adobe account, a Creative Cloud account, which we all have in this class, um, you can access these. So if you go to fonts.adobe.com, you can sort of scroll through, explore. Um, there's a lot of great uh, recommendations here. So you can kind of look at some nice font combinations. Um, there are font packs that'll give you some um, great inspiration. So I would suggest looking through those. Um, you can just explore all fonts as well. And um, you can choose, you know, a category here. I love to use, you know, combinations of like brush fonts or calligraphy calligraphy fonts, and then combine those with sort of clean or geometric. Um, so, you know, you can sort of just explore. I'm just going to click brush pen here and see if I can find one that I like that I don't already have installed. So um, let's just choose. You can see here, like I have some of these already activated. Let's go ahead and just choose this one. I'm going to view family. And then all you have to do, if you like one, just click it. You'll get this little activation notice down here at the bottom of your screen. And then when you go back into any of your Adobe programs, you can change the font right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and I have this double layered. So we'll go ahead and change this to white so you can see it. And then I can just go ahead and just type in the name of that font and it pops right up. So, like I said, it's always, you know, fun to sort of combine these fonts. Um, this is another Adobe font. I use this a lot. It's called Sophia Pro. So don't get too crazy with combining too many fun fonts. I would choose maybe like one you know, and then combine that with a clean font, either a serif or sans serif, you know, something that's easy to read for like your body copy. Something fun for your headline is great. And as you're thinking about this, you know, think about, you know, making this consistent from your ad, your magazine ad to your web banner. So you want that look to be consistent so it looks like it's part of the same campaign. So make sure you're using the same fonts for those. And um, like I said, experiment with that. If you have any questions at all, just let me know.